Hey guys, Deju22 here, and uh, well, this will be my first time uh, that I get to see my good friend in action, and you'll and you'll see who in just a moment. I have to admit, my dad was right. That was epic. But not nearly as epic as what's going to happen next. Okay, there we go. So yeah, my good friend Mantor is uh, is going to be in action, and uh, yeah, this will be the first time I personally will call one of his matches, and uh, yeah, man, it's um, it's great to have you on our roster, and uh, I think you really will. I, I really think I, I'm talking to Mantor. You know, it, as soon as he's finished wrestling and he watches this video, I just want to say. Mantar, you make a better fit on the Four Horsemen just because of your name, as well as the way you look with those horns. Even though they're not—they're not real horns; they're just—they're just there for decoration. But nevertheless, we start with uh, Mr. Rogers and uh, Mantar. But again, Mr. Rogers has the experience, and Mantar has the power to. Uh, negate that and what's Mantar going to do here he's going to do nothing but he does whip him into the corner which is a smart idea and now he does the smart thing by tagging in Cody Rhodes inverted atomic drop followed by a big boot by Cody Rhodes And now Mr. Rogers turns his attention to Cody Rhodes. And Cody's not doing too well either. I mean, but like I said, I mean, Mr. Rogers has been through hell himself. Not that I would personally know, but... Uh-oh, wait a minute. What's he going for? A Boston Crab right to uh, Cody Rhodes, but Cody Rhodes gets out of it. Cody Rhodes went for a move, but missed it. And now Cody Rhodes trying to go, or not Cody Rhodes, rather. Cody Rhodes is in trouble, that's what I meant to say, but hey. That's what happens when you get hit in the head too many times with that damn steel chair that 10 hit me with. Uh, not too long ago, really. It was, it was pretty bad, the headache was, but... But, uh, yeah, uh, I, I've uh, 
several times uh, with the help of messengers. Like I, I've had to have, I had several uh, people that I've trusted to uh, send a message to Ten, um, and and the request is to have a match with him um, this coming uh, at the next uh, Super Show. Uh, originally, we were gonna have it. Uh, yeah, we were gonna have the uh, Super Show entrapped. Uh, but instead, uh, given the situation with uh, Ten, uh, you know what? I might as well tell you that Ten has responded, and he has asked, better yet, he's demanded that I put my career on the line. Which, as bad as that is, he also mentioned that... Uh, that you know, that it should also be in a match where no, where there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide, which is fine by me. As for why, uh, as for why this, uh, as for why it had to come down to this, I'm pretty sure we'll, I'll find out the answer as soon as possible. But, but enough about that. Let's just get right down to the match. Uh, Bob Barker tags himself in and and uh, performs that arm drag right to Cody Rhodes and Cody Rhodes comes back with a float over DDT right to uh, Bob Barker and now it looks like they're going to work on Bob Barker but well, Bob Barker turns the tables nope and now he tags back in uh, Mantar and now what's Mantar going to do? A double axe handle right to the left arm of uh, Bob Barker. And what's he doing? An arm ringer, followed by an followed by a leg drop on the on the arm of uh, Mantar. So yeah, Mantar is big and strong, but uh, he's got to uh, throw his weight around literally because if he doesn't, he's pretty much going to get operated on by Bob Barker, and that's not good. But a kick right to uh, Mantar, and Mantar just got his ass kicked over the top rope and onto the floor. Well, Mantar is going to have to think of something to outsmart or to out, you know, outdo Bob Barker because right now Bob Barker is pretty much kicking his ass, as I expected him to do. Okay, now that's that's more like it. But of course, Bob comes back on the attack. And now Mantar, a suplex right to uh, Bob Barker. I mean, of course, Mantar does have several power moves, but a suplex is a very simple move, for him at least. I mean, he, ha he has to have... Most guys have a suplex in their, ar in their uh, arsenal of moves, but... What's Mantar going to follow it up with now? Nothing! But he but he does go right after Bob with those strikes. And Bob, uh-oh. An, ab an abdominal stretch right to Mantar, but a hip toss right to Bob Barker as a counter. And another arm drag to uh, Mantar. And another, uh, another full Nelson. And once again, it gets broken up. And then an, and then an arm smash right to, uh, an elbow smash, excuse me. And now, wait a minute. A sleeper, yeah. Bob Barker was caught in a sleeper hold by Mantar. And Mantar, when he puts that sleeper on you, uh, Usually you would go out like a light, but of course Bob Barker has felt that move many times. I mean, he's he's been in this industry, uh, in the video game wrestling industry for for the better part of 50 years, or or 40 years rather, for like okay five decades. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, for the better part of five decade decades. Okay, I'm sorry. So yeah, he he's been in this business for that long. 
uh, he pretty much started work um, back in 1969. Uh, that's when uh, my grandfather founded the company. This company that I'm running. And a forum right to uh, Bob Barker. And uh oh. Oh, and a huge karate chop right to Mantar. Well, Mantar's got to have to, uh, again, do, do something. Otherwise, this could be over. But of course, Mantar can't quite do anything right now. Oh, but a shot right to uh, Bob. And now Bob whips uh, him into the corner along with uh, Mr. Rogers. But Bob couldn't do anything with Mantar. Ooh, and a mule kick right to Mantar. An innovative uh, move on the part of uh, Bob Barker. Nope. Nope, reversed uh, by Bob and it's like a stalemate, guys. Oh, oh, wait a minute, a back, a back suplex right to uh, Bob Barker and oh, I think that might have pissed him off. Uh, oh, oh, now a chop lock right to Mantar. If you take out his hooves his hooves, uh, he pretty much becomes a sitting duck, but, but, uh, Mantar's not gonna go down like that. And another tie-up. I mean, these guys are just sizing each other up, but it, uh, obviously Mantar is going to win the tie-up more often than not. But he can't seem to get a move on uh, Bob. Nope, Bob got a move on him. And Ooh, nice counter by Mantar with that belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Uh oh, now he's got him in a bear hug. But Bob counters with a DDT right to Mantar. I'll tell you one thing, this is shaping up to be another classic match. Uh, I know the, the pace of this match has been slow at... Uh oh! Pile driver right to Mantar! I'm surprised uh, Mr. Rogers had the strength to pick him up at... Uh oh! Neighborhood, a neighborhood slam! A neighborhood slam right to Mantar, but Mantar is getting the hell out of there. But another, or rather, an atomic drop, an inverted atomic drop to uh, Mantar, but Mantar fights back. But I don't think Mantar has much left in the tank. And he's better tag in uh, Cody Rhodes soon, because right now Mantar is in deep shit. And now Mantar... A knee smash right to ne to Mantar, and uh, he tags back in Mr. Rogers. And whipped into the corner again. And he tags Mr. Mr. Uh, yeah, Mr. Rogers tags in Bob Barker once again. So yeah, Man Mantar is in deep trouble right now. And Mantar gets out of it, finally. And now he whips Mr. or Bob Barker into the corner, rather. Excuse me, I, I almost called him Mr. Rogers, but it's Bob Barker, actually. And now what's he doing? Powerbomb right to Bob Barker. I don't know what Mantar... What the heck is Mantar doing? I'm not sure. But a whip into the ropes and a power slam 
Wait, cover. One. No, broken up immediately by Cody Rhodes. But Mantar gets thrown back into the back into their corner again. Another and a back elbow. And oh oh Mantar is pissed. You don't want to piss him off. Nope. Now what's he gonna do? Uh oh, now Mantar's really gone mad. And look at him just pound away on Mr. Rogers. And he just puts him down. And now he whips him into their corner. But folks, I'm going to have to stop here for part one. Stay tuned for part two right after this commercial break. All right. See ya.